Valentine's Day only three days away, but before your sweetheart gets a bouquet, Customs and Border Patrol agents must inspect every flower imported for the holiday. News Nation correspondent Brian Enton joins us live tonight from Florida with the blooming inspections. Brian. Yeah, Marnie, this is one of those stories where you think, who would have thought? You go and you buy flowers for Valentine's Day, and you don't realize that almost every single one of those flowers has to be inspected. And the flowers throughout the entire country pass right through this airport in Miami. Before flowers show up in your local florist on Valentine's Day, chances are they were here. Miami International Airport, the flower hub of the nation. These boxes are full of every kind of flower you can think of. Huge. We're talking in the billions. So every year we receive $1 billion in value in flower imports into the United States here at MIA. And flower imports are huge in Valentine's Day time. In this peak season time, we get a billion flower stems between January 1st and February 15th. One billion flowers coming in and out of Miami in just the last month. Most of the flowers come from Colombia and Ecuador and are shipped from Miami out to cities throughout the United States. The amount of flowers that pass through Miami International really is amazing. Nine out of ten flower stems move through MIA, and this, of course, is the busiest time of the year. Customs and Border Protection officers inspect the flowers after they arrive. They are looking for pests and diseases that could spread to other plants in the U.S. So you're looking for bugs on every stem, basically? We are looking for bugs in every single stem, yeah. Have you found any today? Right now, no, but doesn't mean that we're not going to find it. If they find a bug, they send it to the Department of Agriculture to be tested. Depending on what it is, sometimes they fumigate the flowers or even have to destroy them. For everybody who gets their Valentine's flowers, no one would imagine every single one has to go through this. Yes, every single flower nationwide will have to go to the same inspect. And we all know a lot of businesses have obviously suffered during the pandemic, but apparently not the flower business in this area anyway. The airport uh, says they expect access even more flowers this year in the pandemic than they did last year. Live in Miami, Brian Enton, News Nation.